we all know that an exoplanet is a planet outside the solar system. The first very possible evidence of an exoplanet was noted in the year 1917 but was not recognized as such. The first confirmation of detection occurred in 1992. As of now in 2023, there are 5,297 confirmed exoplanets in 3,904 planetary systems with 850 systems having more than one planet. But now, let's get to know the science of the detection of an exoplanet. The two of the most prominent and efficient ones are the transit photometry and Doppler spectroscopy. In the former one, an exoplanet passes between its host star and our observatory object, let's say James Webb Telescope. A transit is perceived in the form of a fluctuating frequency of light coming from the host star. In the latter one, Doppler shifts in the spectrum of planet's parent star are observed as they move around the common center. Assuming there are 200 billion stars in the Milky Way, it can be hypothesized there are 11 billion potentially habitable Earth-sized planets in the Milky Way. What about studying some of these planets individually? The least massive exoplanet is the Droger, which is about twice the mass of the Moon, while the most massive exoplanet listed on NASA's exoplanet archive is HR 2562b, about 30 times the mass of our Jupiter. Well, all of these planets have been discovered inside our Milky Way, but it's not restric restricted just there. There might be extra galactic planets, planets outside our galaxy, and there will be surely. The nearest exoplanets are located 4.2 light years away from the Earth and orbit Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun. This habitable planet is so called Proxima b. The discovery of exoplanets has intensified the interest in search for extraterrestrial life. Habitable planets and their searches around in the Milky Way has probably been the quest for humans. Such planets do have surface liquid water, and there could potentially be an Earth-like environment. One of such planets is Kepler 22b, orbiting within the habitable zone of Sun-like star Kepler 22. It is located in about 600 light years away from the Earth in the constellation of Cygnus. Let's not forget a diamond planet dubbed as 55 Cancri, made mostly of carbon. This planet was first detected in 2011 in front of its parent star. It lies at 40 light years distance in the northern constellation Cancer. Well, there may be planets like HD 189733b where rainfall occurs but not of water, rather rain of molten glass. Our universe has trillions of planets, uncountable, unimaginable and even unthinkable. That's how big is our universe. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching, do like and subscribe. Goodbye from this video.